yeah, massive game. Obviously, the atmosphere was fantastic, especially in that first half, seeing all those Worthing fans behind the goal. And you kind of, I don't know, you kind of zone out a bit. You don't really pay attention to what's going on around you, but I did hear every now and again your name. It's, it's a nice boost and it's a nice feeling to hear. Oh, injured but happy, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, I heard a bit, saw a bit about that in the in the Herald, and but I don't see what the issue is with the drum. I think even though they didn't have the drum, they still made a fantastic atmosphere, and maybe the drum wasn't a massive important, but I don't I don't understand it to be honest. I was at Brighton from the age of eight till I was sixteen, and not the Christmas just gone, but the Christmas before. We had our scholar decisions and unfortunately I didn't get one. So I knew Hinch from, he managed me when I was in under 14s. And he got hold of me and said, oh, come down, see what it's like, have a training session. And I came down and everyone's great here. And the players were fantastic when I first came. And I really enjoyed it and thought, yeah, this is the place I want to be. Yeah, the first thing game was way more physical. I think when I first played my first couple of like bench appearances, I was a bit safe because I wasn't sure what I was going to expect. Um, but playing in the academy, it's like they're all my sort of age and my sort of build. And but you can play against people in this league that have played. I don't know, like the other Lee Rolito who's played many games in the Premier League. And I think some people underestimate the physicality of the league. You've just got to adapt it. Possibly not try and go on the outside of someone because I wouldn't be able to get away with it. Just got to mix up my game, come inside a bit more, and. Move the ball a bit quicker. Yeah, that was one of the most annoying things. Because I felt like I was just getting into my stride and I was feeling confident. And then obviously that happened, a bit of a setback, but it does kind of give you a bit of a reality check as to what to expect. And I think you shouldn't really take it for granted. Like when you do get given these opportunities, m many clubs wouldn't give you those opportunities and I feel it's like, yeah, it's a reality check. I've been given this opportunity and this, it's a minor setback, but it does kind of let you know how physical this league is. Mm. Yeah, education program's brilliant because I'm with the boys who I get on with really well and we all enjoy the same things and we're all in a room together. The banner's really good. I think it's massive. Like, obviously we all, enjoy our football and we share those sort of interests but we enjoy the same things when we're not playing football as well so there's a lot of banter flying around and a lot of jokes I think it keeps the morale up and keeps us going and keeps us wanting to play well. Yeah it's, it's a great thing to have that sort of pathway where you're working so closely with the first team manager um, and to be able to push on to the first team and get minutes in the first team is brilliant. And I think I haven't just learned different skills from different players in the first team. I've kind of learned that it's, it is a lot of graft. You have got a graft. It's not just going to be handed to you. Like the first team squad, the amount of quality players in that team. And we've got now what? It's got a 20, 21, 22 players. And it's not just going to be oh yeah, here's a chance mate, go on, have a go. You're going to have to almost rip the shirt off someone else. And I think I learned about having the right mentality and wanting, really wanting to play week in, week out, not just in cruise control. Oh, the atmosphere at Bognor is a real boost. It's like when you go and have those fans, who want you to do well and want a really, really keen for the team to win. It's almost like a 12th man, especially going somewhere, your local rivals, where you know they're gonna bring a lot. To have them behind your goal when you're attacking, it's, it's a massive boost and it's almost like you've got a wind behind you pushing you on. Yeah, it's a, it was a great atmosphere. Yeah, I think coming out of a professional club, I kind of, I'm not, I'm not afraid to say this, I had the mentality that I feel like I wanna, I should be going straight in, but it's not the case at all. And 
I like I had good ch- hinge and stuff, and it's like it's, it's not just going to be as easy as walking straight into the side. And as I've trained with the boys more and got more appearances, I've kind of learned that and think, nah, you, you're not just going to waltz into that team, Jasp. You've got to have a bit about you, and you're going to have to graft to play. And that's what I think I've understood as I've been around the boys a bit more. See, it's a bit of a weird one. I don't, this is gonna be, everyone's gonna look at this question and think, what an idiot. But I don't really like support, support a team. It's weird because, because of my Saturdays have always been taken up by football. I've never been like, oh, I've got a season ticket and going to watch a certain team or I'm gonna sit down and watch my team on the telly. I just, I haven't really 100% followed the team. If there is a, t- there's a team, Brighton obviously, because they're local and obviously I, I was there, I want them to do well. But I don't, it's not like, oh, it's a weird one. But I don't 100% follow and support a team. The mood's always great in the dressing room. We've got some massive characters in the team and there's always a good vibe. But especially now after we've gone on the back of six games unbeaten and we're in to do a swing, we've got a few class players back from injury. Yeah, the mood's really great and always in training. Mick always says it, Mick Fogden always says, the atmosphere in the dressing room and in train, training is fantastic. And I feel sometimes when we did have a bit of a sticky run, people are kind of asking what the vibe was like. And we've kind of built on that and really pushed on in the last six games. But yeah, everyone's class around the dressing room and everyone gets on. There's no like elephant in the room who's not getting on, everyone gets on and the, the vibe's great. Oh, I've had a few people give me a bit of, a bit of that from the old initiation video on the Instagram. I just, I just don't, I used to sing a bit when I was younger. I used to play the guitar, have a few guitar lessons, but I just sing for fun. I don't do it as much anymore because I get ripped a bit from my mates, but yeah, just in the shower a bit here and there, that's where I've learned it all. Oh, here we are. Uh, I don't know who's asked this question, but I think a decent dessert place in Worthing Town, Casper's. It's got a bit, to be fair. Decent. They've got a nice, I had a nice strawberry and chocolate waffle there. It's got a bit. It's got a bit. Uh, oh, I think I'd want to play for Liverpool. I think Jurgen Klopp, I've kind of admired him for a while and the passion he has for the game and to get your players that fired up to play for you. I think it's massive and what he's achieved there is fantastic. Oh, oh, I definitely dress better than my brother. He's constantly, I, I've got a denim jacket ordered yesterday, just come in the post. He's like, yeah, any danger of me wearing that Saturday? <laughs> Absolute liberty, he's always nicking my stuff out of my wardrobe. But yeah, no, nah, I've definitely got a better dress sense than him. And you can say he's better than me, you can do what he wants. He's quicker than me, I'll give him that, but he's a decent footballer. Yeah, to have the manager believe in you and have faith in you is massive because it really builds your confidence and him wanting you to do well and putting his trust in you to start you in these massive games makes, makes you feel like, yeah, I'm good enough. Because if the manager's not as keen, not as believed, you think, am I, am I good enough? Am I at the right place? But to have the manager's trust and belief is a massive, massive thing for a, a young player.